Hello Power Rangers fans and welcome back to my Power Month series here on Toku Topics. Today is day 21 and that means we're taking a look at Super Mega Force, which this is just a bin uh, next to a very dusty Imaginex Megazord and uh, there's some Spider-Man figures there. Uh, but the reason why I'm filming it like this, uh, and I'm actually doing a handheld with my microphone connected to my phone and it seems to be working so far with the flash on. Look at that. So, uh, basically here today was kind of a video I wanted to do around the time I released the last episode of Toku Toy Lines back in April, and that was take a look at my American Ranger Key collection, because I get questions, especially with like Project Unlock all the time. Josh, are you going to do a Project Unlock for the Super Mega Force keys? No, I don't like the Super Mega Force keys. Uh, so I really don't want to do a video, or a, I don't want to do a video, but I don't want to do a project unlock for those. But I did want to go ahead and show you the keys that I do have, and also how I store my toys, or a lot of my toys. So I don't really do this as much anymore, uh, but when I was younger, for Christmas, I used to ask for a tool bin uh, to store all my toys in. I have one for Samurai slash Super Samurai, one for Mega Force, and this is the one for Super Mega Force. So I've been holding all my Super Mega Force toys in this since 2014, and I've just continued to be adding on to it. I don't know the specific kind of tool box this is. I don't have like logos and stuff or anything on there. I ripped the stickers off of these things years ago. Uh, but inside of here, which I'm sure is going to knock over a bunch of stuff, so let's uh, go ahead and wheel this out a little bit. In here is kind of just miscellaneous Super Mega Force toys. Uh, so we have instruction manuals for a bunch of the Zords. I have all of the legendary like exclusive Zords. I got these helmets. I don't remember specifically where these came from. Uh, but then there's also these. These were like General Mills cereal box like prizes, which is kind of fun. Uh, and I have the legendary Morpher. I only have one version of the legendary Morpher. So unlike the fact that I have like five Mobiruses, I don't have the gold. Toys R Us one, although I'd love to have that, and I don't have the, of course, Morphin Madness prize one, uh, but I have like the cycles that they did and everything like that. Uh, there, This is not Super Mega Force, it's actually a like, cheap Gokaiger, Gokai Cellular, but it might as well be the one for Super Mega Force because it uh, was basically just as bad. So <laughs> that's kind of the top layer here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and close that off because the main thing I said I was going to show off was the Ranger keys, and those, I believe, are right here in tray one. So I did get some Ranger keys. I really never got too many of them though. I know for a fact the only packs that I got uh, was Alien Ranger pack A, which is where black and blue came from. I got Mighty Morphin pack A, so I have blue. So Mighty Morphin black is somewhere around here. I know I got, where was it? Um, I got both Dino Thunder packs because Dino Thunder is my favorite season. So I made it a fact to get both of those. Uh, but the vast majority of these keys, uh, oh yeah, they're Dino Thunder backs. But the vast majority of these keys came from that Super Mega Force 20 key set. I got that for Christmas in 2014. So any key that came with that, I do have that. So like, you know, the exclusive In Space Silver that came in that, the exclusive Dino Thunder Yellow that came in that. And where's Quantum? Because he's exclusive to that as well. Quantum is somewhere around here. It's kind of hard to tell because a lot of my keys, as you can see, have been permanently like stuck into key form because the hinges on these things are so terrible. Uh, so you can see how many of them have just auto flipped into a key by themselves over the years. And like that one just did it. I know this one is so broken it can't even do it at all. Like it doesn't stay into a key no matter what I do. And that was the one that came with the original Legendary Megazord. Uh, where is Quantum? Where is he hiding? I probably like passed. Oh, there we go. So there's Quantum from that set. And then like I got RPM Red from the Turbo Falcon. Uh, I still cannot believe that Hasbro and Bandai Japan and America both did not give him the black outline on the visor there. Never understood that. Kind of impressive how three different companies did it. But as you can see, that's all I ever got with American Ranger Keys. I would like to get some of the novelty sets, uh, like the one that has Titanium uh, from Power Morphicon. That Tommy Oliver set's kind of cool, but besides that, I don't really care. <laughs> like, maybe I'll get some more keys as my microphone cord is just dangling. But for now, this is more than enough from what I need. And the rest of this bin has some of the retro fires that they released then, so like the Legendary Megazord and the Wild Force Megazord. But then in here, I'm almost done with this collection of all the Legendary Ranger figures that they released. So, I think I have pretty much all the six Rangers that they made. I don't have Mighty Morphin White or the rest of Mighty Morphin. 
and I don't I think I'm missing if I remember correctly Lost Galaxy Red, Time Force Red, uh, Dino Thunder Red, SPD Red, Mystic Force Red, Overdrive Red, Samurai Red, and I think that's it. So I maybe try to track those down someday, but these were really great. I love the Action Hero line. I would like to do a kind of a video on those someday. And then the big last area down here is where I stored all the Zords, like the, the Mega Zords. So in here we have the Turbo Falcon and the Legendary and the Q-Rex. And we have both versions of Gal Lion, because for some reason I have Gal Lion and the Mega Force one. I don't really know why. So, uh, but yeah, guys, that is my Super Mega Force collection. I thought... You know, it'd just be kind of fun to show it off here and people ask me like, hey, what kind of American Ranger keys do you have and that kind of thing. So I figured, yeah, I might as well do that. So as you can see, everything's just nicely compact into this whole thing. I wish I kept doing this. Like I wish I got like a Dino Charge bin and a Super Ninja Steel bin, Ninja Steel bin, all that kind of stuff. But this was more than enough for what it needed it to be at the time. And uh, it's going to work. So let me know down in the comments below. What American Ranger keys did you collect? Or did you primarily get the Japanese keys? Uh, were you, you know, ever interested in the Super Mega Force toy line? I think pretty much the only things I want to track down are those key sets I mentioned. I do want to get the other versions of the Legendary more for some time. And I think pretty much the only other thing I'd like really, really want from the Super Mega Force toy line that I don't have uh, would be just like... Yeah, I don't know, like maybe like a random mask or something, or kind of want the sword to kind of compare it to like uh, the Memorial Edition Gokai Saber. Oh yeah, by the way, just this is not anything to do with this video, but I got some cool Power News movie stuff. This is not actually signed; those are just printed on. But anyway, I'm stalling now, so <laughs> that's gonna do it. So of course, until next time, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video today for day 21 of Power Month, focusing on Super Mega Force, and I will see you all later. Oh, I forgot to say. Follow me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or Lady Vic PR, and then I'll see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons Jurassic Samurai, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Noberland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics 1017, James Darty, Eric Berry, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, CPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, Uni Warrior Thomas, and Lewis Carnes. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.